So if we look at how these components come together, let's say we have a policy that unauthorized users should not have access to sensitive data. And a policy would be that high level. Then you'd have a standard that says users must have a smart card and a PIN number to be authenticated to, and then authorized to access this sensitive information. That's the standard. The baseline is the number of unauthorized uh, accesses allowed because really you can't have 100% security like I've talked about. So you have to set a baseline uh, that's a clipping level. It's an actual threshold. Then you have a guideline that explains um, what identification and authorization is and potentially uh, how to use smart cards. And then you have procedures on how to actually configure uh, like a database that controls the, uh, the, where the sensitive data is. So th this is how they all work together. And um, again, the policy is the management directives. It's high level. And all of these other things are developed to provide meat for us to actually know what to do to be compliant with the policy. So the policy should not just be known by the security group. And that happens. Um, when, if you go into an organization, you say, let me see your security policies, some people will never know where they are. Everybody should at least know how to get access to them. They, they should be on like an internet site or something. But the CEO and the board um, actually needs to bless them. They need to bless the, the, the policies that are put in place.